Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I will be doing a full face testing out new drugstore makeup that I have just collectively been picking up and have been wanting to try. So I hope you checked out my most recent makeup haul. It was called like huge makeup haul or something like that. I will link it down below. So I am testing out the products that I purchased from that haul. Some of them I've used before. Some of them today was my first time trying them. Nonetheless, I'm telling you what I think of these products. So definitely check that haul out if you haven't seen it before because because this isn't everything that I purchased. I'm just using some of the stuff to create this full face. And we're gonna get into how I got this look using all drugstore makeup except for my lips, but you'll see that in the video. <laughs> So first thing we're going to try is the Pixi Glow Mist. So this you can use as both a base and a setting spray. I haven't tried this yet has a pretty nice mist from what I can tell. Um, it is a bit heavy, so your face is going to get wet very easily, but I like it. We'll see how I feel about this, but um, yeah, my skin is feeling much better because it was feeling quite dry, actually, and ignore my severely chapped lips. It's a long story. So the next thing I'm using is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. I have mine in the shade Nude Beige. So I have heard such fabulous things about this foundation. My expectations are quite high, I'm not going to lie. I really hope this looks good because I have a bridal trial in a couple hours and you don't want to be a makeup artist with bad makeup. People are trusting you, they're paying you money to do their makeup. Like you gotta show up and look like you know what you're doing, starting with yourself. Okay, so this, from what I can tell, is really, really pretty. Um, it's buildable, it's about medium coverage though, and it looks really, really natural and glowy on the skin. So, so far from this one initial application, I think it looks super good, wow. Not emphasizing anything dry on my face, I look really glowy and pretty. Okay, cool. So next I'm using the ColourPop Brow Boss in the shade Brunette. So I have used this once before and I do like it so far. It still doesn't beat like my ABH or even the Benefit, but it is still pretty nice. I still feel like it's just not as precise as the ABH and also the texture of it just isn't my favorite but it still is really nice for a good affordable brow pencil. I do quite like it a lot. Like if you're not willing to spend the $20 that the ABH is, I mean, you will definitely be happy with this. This is still really nice. I mean, we will see how it wears. I haven't really worn it for a long time, but based on initial application, this is a really nice brow pencil. I do think I like the NYX Micro Brow Pencil more, but this is a really good color. Normally, brunette is like really warm, but this is like nice and cool. I almost feel as if this brow pencil over blends, and I don't like that. This isn't new or anything, but I'm just gonna go over with my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. This is one of my favorite eyebrow gels. So next, let's move on to concealer. So for today, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I have mine in the shade 1.25 Light Natural. So I have used this once before and I really do think I like it a lot. Obviously, second impressions are important, so we will see what I think about it. But I'm just using this Luxie 221 brush and I'm just using that to define my eyebrow. And then of course, under the eyes. Oh my gosh, so pretty. This is really risking it. But I'm taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour in 806 Where's Walnut. I'm like scared. I'm just gonna start off with like that much and see how it blends. Okay, so it doesn't blend out to be super scary. So I'm just gonna start off, like I said, with just a little bit. And I'm gonna use this Morphe M536. See if I like how that blends it out. <laughs> Not really. I'm so picky about what I use to blend out cream products. So it takes a lot of trial and error, thinking that sponge is gonna do best for this. But typically I like a duo fiber brush to do the work for me. So I'm actually going to go in with just a duo fiber brush that's kind of stiff and see if I like this way better. The best way to use this is to take a duo fiber brush like that. Um, wasn't too crazy about the beauty blender way. 
but it's fine. So far, I'm not in love with this, but I don't dislike it either. I think that's definitely something that we just gotta play with more. And I need to try application all over like this. Also, let me just... Okay, so I don't have like an under eye setting powder. So I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder, which is La Balm. I'm gonna press that in with a sponge. Loving this concealer though. So I will save a blush and highlight for later. We're just gonna go straight onto the eyes. I did blend concealer on my eyes, so I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that. So I picked up the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette. Is this palette not like everything? I have used it once before. It's a little bit powdery. I don't know that it's my favorite formula, but for what it is, it's really, really good. I'm gonna do like a super duper simple look. Literally like barely using any of these colors, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of Tiki right here and I'm going to apply that to my crease. So BH colors are really good for how much they cost. You know, if you don't want to break the bank and buying eyeshadow palettes, I really prefer BH even over Morphe, to be honest. I think that their eyeshadow is, generally speaking, consistently better quality. I like Morphe shadows too, but I just don't find the brand to be super consistent with their quality. But as you can see, like this is like a super affordable eyeshadow palette. You get so many beautiful colors, just so easy to create a look with their stuff as well. So I'm also running this along the lower lash line. And then I'm going in with that first crease brush. And just to kind of add a little bit more pink to the look, I'm going to take some of Paradise right here. Gosh, this palette is so pretty. This is going to be an amazing summer palette. So this shade right here isn't quite as vibrant as it shows up in the pan. So I'm sure you could build it up to get it to be that vibrant. But I just wanted a wash to kind of make a more pink diffused look. So this color was perfect. And then I'm also going to take some of Pineapple right here. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. And this is going to go in my inner corner and my brow bone right here. Is that not so pretty and beaming? Oof. And then for my lid, we are going to play with the Almay Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. So this is in the shade Cupid Glaze. It's just like a really pretty kind of pinky color and I haven't tried this yet so I really was interested in seeing how it looks all over oops all over the lid and oh my gosh it's looking really really pretty a little goes a really long way with this I can already tell okay so initially when I purchased this and swatched it I was a little underwhelmed by it um, I had seen another video on it that made me think it was so much more glossy and foiled than it actually showed up on my hand but now that I've spread it on my lid oh my gosh it is so pretty so if this like withstands the day i might have to pick up more shades of these it is looking maybe not the smoothest on my lid but it's fine let's see how this goes okay so now that i know what the eye look looks like we can move on to blush so i'm going to be using the flower beauty blush balm in the shade pinch so i've used this formula once before haven't tried this color yet but so far from what I can tell a little goes a very very long way so I just put like a dab and even then I put too much on my hand and I'm just putting it on this Luxie duo fiber brush and making sure it gets evenly on the bristles and I'm just gonna put that on the cheek so if you're not comfortable with like liquid blushes this is a really safe product to start with you know if you want to stay away from powders i would recommend looking into cream blushes i think they're so beautiful and just so much more natural on the skin now this shade in particular is very very sheer honestly i think it's better to buy it in the more intimidating colors but if you are very fair this pinched color is beautiful. Ooh, I will say though, I do notice it picking up my foundation a little bit. That's not good. I didn't notice that the other day. It's not like super bad or super noticeable, but because I'm looking really close, I can see a little bit of my foundation being picked up. But now that I've kind of gone in and blended it in with a sponge, it looks very, very beautiful once again. So very natural flushed cheek look. I like it. For highlighter, I only bought two highlighters, the Master Chrome and the Wet n Wild. Both maybe aren't 
the best for this look, but I think I'll use the Wet n Wild I'm So Lit. This is a loose highlighter. It has so much shine. I don't really love this color. I think it's a bit too, dare I say, blinding and like, I don't know. It's just, it's too much for me. I can't believe I'm saying that, but truly it is. I mean, but if you like this kind of crazy unnatural highlight, this is definitely for you. I don't know about the longevity, but we're gonna play with that today and you get so much product uh, from the loose highlighter. So definitely a big bang for your buck. I literally just used the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount of product for this look. So to set anything else on my face, I'm gonna use the JCAT Beauty Aqua Assurance in Natural. So I mean, essentially this is just like a pretty high coverage powder foundation. I really like it. I think it's super good. I wore it without any other foundation on my face and I did really like it. I'm just using it ever so slightly just to kind of powder in the rest of my face. So before I move on to eyeliner, I'm just gonna go back into this glow mist and glow you know i'm gonna try and block my hair i don't know if it's long make sure you keep your eyes closed when you're drying your face um if you sprayed with your eyes closed because sometimes if your eyes get too wet and you open them it can cause the look to crease and just mess up everything that you did so oh i just hit myself in the face okay so my skin's feeling kind of sticky from that I don't know if I like that. All right, so next we are going into the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I've heard endless good things about this eyeliner, so. Kind of messed up my eyeliner. I need to get closer to a mirror, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not my best eyeliner day. I went a little bit too thick on the inner corner, but it's fine. I actually really, really like this eyeliner. We will see how it wears, but it's really, really black. If you like the Kat Von D brush tip on her liquid liner, you are going to really like this so far i really really do like this okay so for lips this is going to be the only non-drugstore product in this video uh, because i did purchase this and i think this is what's going to look the best with this look this is the sephora lipstick in the shade somewhere in spain wow okay so this is definitely one of those concealer lip shades honestly all of the shades that i bought in this haul don't go with this makeup look so i'm just gonna put on a random lipstick but that's what that looks like in case you were curious. So I'm actually going to go with camera, pick a lipstick, put in some earrings and some lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished the look. Like I said, uh, the lip products that I purchased, I just felt it didn't really go with this look. So I did end up using the Milk Makeup Lipstick and Skills and the Lorac Lip Gloss in the shade Bay. And I mean... This is like the perfect lip color for this look. So overall, this look, I'm getting such major spring vibes from this. I think this is gorgeous for the spring. General consensus of the product. There wasn't anything that I tried that I didn't like right off the bat. The thing that I'm the least sure about is the Wet n Wild contour stick, though I think that was user error and I do need to play around with different ways to apply this. But from what I can tell so far, this is the only thing I'm really super unsure of. Also, the Wet n Wild I'm so lit highlighter. It has kind of dimmed down a little bit, so I am worried about the wear time of this. Um, it's not my preferred color, but I mean, I think from what I can tell so far, a lot of people are going to like it. It's just not my cup of tea, but I will keep you updated on that. So far, I think I'm liking this as well. I haven't had any issues with it. It doesn't smell as weird the second time I used it, so I don't know what I was smelling, but I do want to play with this some more. It does make my face feel a little bit sticky when it's drying, but... I'll keep you updated. Loving the foundation so far. It went beautifully over my skin. My skin looks really nice. So, so far I'm loving this. Love, love, love the concealer. The Aqua Assurance from Jake Hats, really good. The NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner, so far loving this. This is amazing. The ColourPop Brow Bust brow pencil I think is really, really nice for what you pay for it. Not my favorite in the world, but definitely something I would continue using when I want to mention good drugstore brow products. This has made it on the list. The Olme Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. Oof, I'm loving this. I hope this wears as beautifully as it looks and applies. From what I can tell so far, a really good find from the drugstore. The Blush Bomb. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I like the shade Pinched. I think this needs to be for somebody who is more fair, but when you buy this, you do have to keep in mind that these are a lot less pigmented than the actual color on here, and I think that this is a bit 
too natural for my preference. I don't really like a natural blush. So I like this product, but I don't think I like this color. The Sephora lipstick, this was super duper creamy. Um, I definitely need to use this with a lip liner for this particular shade, but I do really, really like it. Finally, the Hangin' in Hawaii from BH Cosmetics. This is such... I don't know what that noise is. This is such a good value. This is such a pretty spring palette. The one thing I will say about this, the first time I used this, I did kind of play with these more colorful shades and they all kind of blend out to look the same. So generally speaking, I would say if you want to do a really defined look or a really complex look, this probably isn't the greatest palette for that. It's going to require you to really pack on and reapply those shades, but just to throw these shades on for a general like pink, orangey, corally look, this is really good, but it's a $16 eyeshadow palette. So for what it is, I really like it for the spring. And I think that's everything that I used in this video. So what I am going to do, this isn't really going to be like a wear test video, but I do want to kind of update you at the end of the day so I can tell you if anything just wore horribly and I can never wear it again. I'll catch you guys at the end of the day. It's 1.16 right now, so hopefully by 9 o'clock I'll have an update for you guys. Hello! Okay, so excuse how horrendous I look right now, but I did have to get on here to tell you how my makeup wore because <gasps> I am so impressed. So my eyes are like really red right now. I look a hot mess. I did make up for a few hours today. You know, that's a lot of hustle and bustle. My I'm like literally so exhausted. My eyes are tired of having makeup on them. I need to get this off. But I am so impressed with how so many of these things wore. So I do want to talk about what I am super duper duper impressed with just for their longevity. So first of all, the Wet n Wild Micro Cushion Foundation. Tati talked about it. She loved it. She recommended it. It is so fantastic. She was right. Um... My mom even complimented my skin and I was like, it's freaking wet and wild. It didn't emphasize any dryness. It wore really well. I don't look oily. Uh, it is breaking up around here, but that's because I ate pizza and I just have had a long day. It's like 10 o'clock way past my bedtime. So this was awesome. Also super impressed with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I knew I loved this the first time I tried it, but I did want to try it again before I claimed my love to it, but oh my gosh, like my eyes aren't even creased. Um, I love the coverage on this. This is like a gem, not enough people are talking about it. I was a little bit worried about the longevity of this Wet n Wild I'm So Lit highlighter. Like I said, the shade in particular isn't my favorite, but now that it's worn down, I actually like it quite a lot. It is really beaming, it's melted into my skin, so I like it a lot more. I would like to try this in a different color, but I really am impressed with how it's worn throughout the day. It isn't as beaming as it was when I put it on, but I kind of like that. <laughs> and I'm mean, nine hours later and it's still like bam bam. This is an amazing value. The NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. I noticed zero bleeding and it's hecka black. Um, I have found my new favorite drugstore eyeliner. This is amazing. So my favorite eyeliners lately have been the Sigma Liquid Pen Eyeliner and of course the Pat McGrath. And these are like so expensive. So I cannot believe I found this gem. This is I mean, everybody's been telling me to get it, and I never did, and um, finally did, and now I'm like, amazed. And then the last thing that I am super excited about is the Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadow. I mean, Alme, right? But seriously, I do not have a crease in my eye. It's the most gorgeous glittery shade. I wasn't too sure about this at first, but now I'm obsessed and I want to get more. And I really like this because it's very sanitary, so I can actually use this in my makeup kit and it doesn't crease. And oof, if I can get these in some good colors, I feel like brides and bridesmaids are going to love this. Everything else that I have on is really good too. It's just those things in particular that I noticed their longevity was amazing. I love the way they wore. So anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know um, if you would like to see me test out some more drugstore products. I always love testing out a good drugstore product. I'm so impressed with everything in this video, surprisingly. Love the look I got. Um, I'm about to take this dang makeup off because I am like, ugh, I look a hot mess. All right, bye guys. Have a great day.